Hey YouTube, Adrian here from Overland Adventuring, and I had a request from one of our Overlanders wondering about what I thought of the front runner water carrier can system for the roof rack. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview, quick on and off, as I'm taking it off for the winter anyways. And as always guys, if you appreciate the content, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment just to say that you did subscribe, just so we can get back to you and say thanks very much for watching our stuff. So I ran the Front Runner rooftop water tank system. It's 11 gallons, uh, 42 liters, which actually was pretty good. That is quite a bit of water when you're out there. It's always kind of hard to know how much is that gonna be, but that actually is quite a lot. Uh, very rarely did we actually empty this thing where we couldn't get somewhere to fill it up again. So volume wise, I love it. Um, it is the hard plastic. They do claim that it's BPA free. So for me, that's really important. I don't want to be drinking any weird stuff, but at the end of the day, I will say the only complaint that I do have with it is that even after a day or two, it would start to taste like a little bit of plastic in the water. And we probably ran, like I say, 20, 25 nights through this thing, like 25 days of use. So I would have thought that flushed it through, but it didn't. I am gonna give it another chance because I really do like it. I like the way it sits up here. It's the same height as the rooftop tent. So it doesn't add any extra height to that when it's sitting on the back and the tent's on. So I think that's pretty important. Um, but all in all, good product, nice and firm. Like you're not gonna hurt this. It is strong. I've run branches along it, bounced over the top. So no question about the quality, water taste, only medium. I'll give it another season and see what I think though. So keep it in mind, the tank is mounted on the roof, so it's gonna be gravity fed. Now we never had any problem with that, but just make sure you mount the spigot underneath the rack instead of on top. I tried it up here first, but the hose had to come back up, so then I couldn't get a good water flow when the water pressure uh, got low because the tank was getting empty. So you mount it underneath here. It's got a nice little locking system. I'm gonna empty it because I'm pulling it off today for the winter anyways. Lock. Like most front runner stuff though, it's not free. You know, especially for Canadians, we gotta buy everything in American dollars, then we gotta pay duty when we bring it into Canada as well. So, great tank, listed on the website for 269 bucks US, plus you gotta buy the water spigot and the hose and all the little adapters, it doesn't come with that, so make sure you ask for that when you're talking to them over at Front Runner. Um, do I think it's worth it? It probably cost me five or 600 bucks by the time I got it here. I would say, yeah, it's a pretty good solution. I hate having jugs of water in the back that I'm pulling out, you know, and mounting somewhere or putting, making on a table or something. I do really like this. Again, other than the little plastic taste that couldn't get out. But as a system itself, absolutely love it. Great quality, great product. Mounting system itself, about as easy as it gets. You just put the tub up here. It sits right on the rack, right on the bottom of the tank itself. No problem. Couple of bolts on this side, couple of nuts to undo. Comes over the top. Actually fits right around the cap, which is kind of neat. Good sturdy cap on this. It's gonna come right down here, onto the front, and then it just attaches by this strap tie down point here. So pretty easy. Like all front runner gear, there's really nothing to mounting this stuff. And like most front runner stuff, this nut's just gonna actually slide from the end uh, and it's gonna slide into one of these grooves and hold the nut from twisting. So, pretty easy system. Oh, don't wanna lose that. Pretty easy. Just like that. Up, and then you can pull it out. Nothing to Boom. She just lifts right off. About as easy as it gets. The only pain point I find with it is the spigot itself. You see the way they attach it is it's got a, a hex under there. And then when you come looking over here, uh, you've got an actual nut. And it's just a little tricky to, uh, to get your hex in there. So to get it off, you really do have to crack this off, take the spigot itself apart, 
and then uh, and then pull it off. And of course, I zip tied it, so I'll have to cut these off and then slide the hose out. So you kind of got to pop that apart to get it on. I don't love how that's connected, but I will say I don't have a better solution. It's pretty good. this part of all the front runner stuff. Out. Come on. Come on, man. Boom. Nice and easy. Except for these end ones. You do have to take this piece off to get that screw out that's kind of got a little buried in there, but you just pop that out with an Allen key, slide them right out. For the slim line, you got to take this corner piece off. I've got a nut, or sorry, a bolt in here that I need to slide out. Off comes the corner, out comes that bolt that held the front in. Careful not to cross thread. And just in case, I'm gonna pull the rubbers out. So with that tank, it does give you these little rubbers. And that's simply to stop some of the squeaking, I believe. Stop it kind of bounce, just hold it from rubbing on here. So I'll pull them out because I'm gonna have it out for the winter, so. Just like that, water tank is off the top. I bet that took me 20, 25 minutes or so. I've got it here on the ground. I'm just gonna make sure I get all the water out of it, stack it in the, uh, in the garage on my camping shelf for the next little while, but I will say, great product overall. No real complaints. Taste the water a little bit, but maybe another season will flush that through. So there you go, YouTube. Thanks very much for the subscriber who reached out and asked for that specific video about how does that tank fit on and how does it work. I really appreciate you watching and subscribing. Happy to do a video for anybody who puts something out there that they wanna see, maybe have a review. Just let me know. I love gear, I love buying gear, and I love testing it. I'm Adrian from Overland Adventuring. Thanks for watching. Tucked away for the winter.